All right, so we've got a recipe that calls for two and three quarter cups of sugar. If the recipe is doubled, how much sugar do we need? So here's the cooking bowl. Let's see, two and three quarter cups. Here's one cup. Here's two cups. And three quarters is about this much. We'll put that there. So the question is, what does it mean to double something? To double something. What do you think that means? Yeah, times by two. Good. So here, here's another one. One cup, two cups, and three quarters. And just so now we've doubled the recipe. So it's like the first half was here, the next, the next amount is here. So let's estimate what that is. What do you think that is? Take a guess. It's around what? Approximately what? Maybe six? Yeah, and up around six, around six or five or something like that, right? Good guess. So, yeah, to double something means to time it, times it by two. So if you're asked to say double the number ten, then the answer would be what? Double ten and you get what? Twenty. Good. And double the number five and the answer is 10. Perfect. All right. So, so times in by two is what we need to do. Good point. So we go two times two and three quarters. Now, the only thing is when you multiply, um, improper, uh, mixed numbers like that, it's good to turn it into an improper fraction. So, so let's turn the two and three quarters to an improper fraction. So how do you do that? Nice. Yeah. Four twos is eight, so that's eight quarters plus three. Good, 11 quarters, perfect. And I've got to multiply, so now the mixed number is turned to an improper fraction. And we should turn this two into a fraction as well though. Two is what? Two over one, lovely. Now when we multiply fractions, we can multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms. But before you do that, it's it's good to do what? Cross cancel. Good. So two and two do because once. Yep. Two and four twice. Beautiful. Yep. Now on the top we have one times eleven, which is eleven. On the bottom we have one times two, which is two. Perfect. And so the answer is eleven over two. And that's correct. Kind of hard to understand though. I mean, can I have eleven over two cups of sugar? That's a kind of a weird thing to say, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. Yep, 2 into 11 goes 5 times remainder 1. Remainder 1, so we've got 5 and a half. And the answer, the question was, the recipe calls for 2 and 3 quarter cups of sugar. If the recipe is doubled, how much sugar do we need? 5 and a half cups of sugar. And that's what we actually have here. That's our 5 and a half cups right there. 5 and a half cups, yep.